How many times have you caught yourself talking to your kids and be like, don't walk across the street without looking both ways. Don't talk to strangers. Don't take candy from strangers. If someone asks you to look for a lost puppy, don't do it. Like, don't, don't, don't. How many times do we tell them, oh, if someone touches you, I want you to kick them as hard as you can, right where it counts. I don't know that any mother's ever told their child that. I mean, how many times do you hear, what, they pick you up, like, go for their eyes, just poke their eyes right out, like, do whatever you have to. Rad Kids doesn't tell kids what not to do. It helps them come up with a plan for themselves of what they can do. It helps them so that they know what's okay, what's not okay. They realize that it's not their fault for whatever happens. They realize that they can tell someone about it. And they also realize that they're special, they're important, they cannot be replaced. That maybe the big screen TV can be replaced, maybe like the crystal vase can be replaced, but they're irreplaceable and if something happens to them, you'd never get them back. So rat kids is all inclusive in that, and I wish I had had rat kids. I don't know that it necessarily would have prevented me from being kidnapped, but maybe it would have. And I've been through the training both as a student and an instructor, and I know it would save so many children. It would make a difference to so many. We couldn't put a number on how many children it would have prevented being hurt, because how would you ever study that? So, I believe in it 100%. <laughs> well, there are three main principles that everything's taught on, and I kind of just mentioned them, but these are the most important, and everything else is based on that. But first is that you're special, and nobody has the right to hurt you. Now, to know if someone's hurting you, you have to realize when, when they're hurting you and when they're looking out for you. The second one is, second principle is, because you're special, you don't have the right to hurt anybody else, including yourself, unless someone is hurt, hurting you. I mean, oftentimes I think we catch ourselves telling children, oh, be polite to, to society, be polite to everybody, like respect your, respect your elders. But what if your elders or someone in the community is hurting you? You need to know that it's okay to fight back when that situation occurs. You need to know that no matter what happens, whatever you have to do to feel safe, to get away, to make sure you're not being hurt anymore, is okay. And then the third principle, which I think is probably the most important, is that it's not your fault. I can't tell you how many children I've met, how many women I've met, who felt like because they were in an abusive marriage, or they were hurt as little kids, it was their fault. It was something they did. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't good enough, maybe they didn't listen, maybe they spent too much money, maybe it was something, but it is never okay to hurt somebody. And so they need to realize that it's, it's not their fault and that they can tell someone and that things can change. So those are the three most important principles I could share about Rad Kids and everything else taught within Rad Kids is based on those three principles. We've recently teamed up with the, well, Elizabeth Smart Foundation has teamed up with the Healthy Woman Program with CHS and we work with Rad Kids. Rad Kids is one of our partners and we push it everywhere we can go. And so by working through Healthy Woman or by contacting Rad Kids directly, which is radkids.org and there is an email on that website that you can email to. So many people sacrificed and gave so much in order to try to help find me and bring me back. And so I feel like one of the reasons why I do, why I go out and speak and why I go out and work in children's advocacy is because, well one, I don't want the same thing that happened to me happen to anybody else, but also I want to be able to give something back and by sharing my story and talking about what happened and talking about what helped me overcome everything, I want other people to know that they can share their stories as well and that they can, if something bad has happened to them, that they can come forward and talk about it so that issues like sexual abuse and rape and physical abuse, that they can, that they can come into the 
right? And people can do something about it so that we can have a change.